Here's the data definition for a curve tree. We're going to use this curve tree to represent decompositions of curves into individual segments, just like we saw in the images before. A curve tree is either a segment, which is a straight line between two posins, or it's a connection between two curve trees. This way, we can build up larger and larger curve trees. Implicitly, the last posin in the left curve tree, C1 in a connect, is connected to the right posin in the curve tree C2. Now let's look at writing a function based on a curve tree. We're going to write the curve tree length function, which takes a curve tree and produces a number representing the distance along all of the different segments in the curve tree. Let's start with some examples. The distance from 0, 0 to 5, 5 is an interesting algebra problem, but we're going to make use of the dist function, which we'll define now to compute it. Here's the dist function, which we'll use in several places. With this in hand, it's easy to write our test case. With dist in hand, we can now write two examples. Curve tree length of the curve from 0, 0 to 5, 5 with just one segment is just the distance from 0, 0 to 5, 5. And the curve tree length of a connection between that curve tree and another one that goes from 5, 5 to 5, 6 is the sum of the two distances along those segments. Now let's follow our template to write curve tree length. Here's our template for curve tree length. If we have a segment, then we have four pieces of data, the x and y coordinates of each posin. If we have a connect, then we're going to make two recursive calls on C1 and C2, the two fields of C that we're, we have in a connect. All that remains is to fill in the two pieces of dot, dot, dot. Let's take a look at our examples. Here we can see that for just a segment, we're going to use dist on exactly the numbers in the two posins. Let's just write dist in for our dot dot dots. Now let's look at our next example. Here we see that it's the sum of the two components that we want when we have a connect. So let's replace our dot 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 with plus. Now we're done, let's run our program. Check expect is reminding us that we need to use check within when we're comparing these distances because dist can produce inexact numbers since it uses square root. I've now changed our examples to use check within. Now all our tests pass.